This stinks. <laughs> Riley Cooper? Riley Cooper, right? You gotta be a special type of asshole to be the most hated guy on a team that still has Michael Vick, right? <laughs> we all know what happened with this dude? He's like at a Kenny Chesney concert, and I'm not gonna have a Michael Kramer, or a Kramer moment here, but I, I, just to quote him, he was at the Kenny Chesney concert, and he said, Black people are scary! It's not a direct quote. It's not a direct quote. <laughs> But he basically said that he would fight every N-word <laughs> over the fence, right? At a Kenny Chesney concert, right? So at first you're like, damn, that guy's bold, right? He's got some balls. It's at a Kenny Chesney concert, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically a tailgating party for a Ku Klux Klan rally, right? <laughs> He's safe. <laughs> He's safe. And that one, there's probably one black guy there, so it's probably, at best, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. And that one black guy's probably Hootie. <laughs> so, so they did welcome him back to the team after some uh, sensitivity training and um, they decided that they were going to make up a few new uh, play calls just to suit his personality, his lifestyle so the, the Eagles will be running a white power sweep <laughs> they'll be running a quick slanty eyes <laughs> All kinds of good stuff. But they didn't stop there. They actually invented positions for Riley Cooper. Instead of uh, an offensive tackle, they have an offensive wide receiver. <laughs> Instead of a strong and free safety, they have a fears for his safety. <laughs> Seriously, how do you spend that much time with black people and that word's still in your vocabulary? What a jerk off. You guys like fantasy football? Woo! Yeah, me too. I was in Montreal recently. Cool, we bonded, right? Uh, I'm doing a mock draft tonight if anybody wants to log in. I'll be in the uh, Baltimore uh, 12 team snake mock auction. If you know what I'm talking about, then we are fucking boys. I think. So, um, I'm in Montreal recently and uh, I couldn't communicate with my wife other than through FaceTime because I can only communicate either through email or um, FaceTime. <laughs> when I had the Wi-Fi in my hotel room, that's the only way I could communicate. So I'm FaceTiming with her in my hotel room and I'm also on my laptop doing a mock draft. It's June, or it's July, so it's pretty early. It's pretty early. But you guys are with me. You're with me. So I'm FaceTiming with her, we're talking, I miss you, I miss you, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And she notices that I'm slightly distracted, because I keep looking at my laptop every couple seconds. She's like, what are you doing? And I told her I was doing a mock draft. And she's like, because she used to be in a league with us, but she got out because it was just too much drama with all the boys, you know? So now she looks down upon me like she's some kind of better human being because she doesn't do fantasy football. So she's looking at me with all this disgust. So I say to her, would you rather me tell you that I'm on ujiz.com and try to figure out which video I'm going to beat off to as soon as I get done FaceTiming with it? Which is awesome that I can say that to my wife, right? And her response was yes. Because at least when you're done, the end result is real. <laughs> no, it's not a fake team. 